Hello again, everyone. I'm Jerry Rice, reporting to you from the IMF and World Bank spring meetings here in Washington. Yesterday, the IMF's membership agreed to a more than $430 billion increase in the fund's resources to help strengthen the global financial safety net for all countries. Today, our meetings continued with the IMFC, that's the International Monetary and Financial Committee, which is the policy steering committee of the IMF. And the IMFC set yesterday's decision in a broader context. What are the key results? First, a shared understanding of the key issues for action going forward. What was really critical uh, in all our minds was to get back to normal growth over the medium term, and preferably sooner rather than later. In other words, within two to three years, to get back to normal growth, if possible, in as much of the advanced world as possible. Because if we don't get back to normal growth, if we don't get GDP back, to its potential levels, then fiscal sustainability is not possible either. Growth and jobs and the policies needed, that's fiscal, monetary and structural, to achieve that. The Eurozone debt crisis, a lot done, yes, but need to push on and complete what needs to be done. And Europe, but not just Europe. Challenges facing the emerging markets, unfulfilled promises of the Arab Spring, and the urgent needs of the low-income countries. Indeed, these issues were discussed today at the Development Committee, where Christine Lagarde outlined the IMS priorities for the poorest countries of the world. A second big area of agreement, support for the work of the IMF, evident in the agreed increase in resources, but no sense of complacency here, a need to strengthen the fund's efforts, working with our membership first in the core area of economic monitoring and surveillance to make it sharper, more focused, and especially to take into account the key issue of interconnectedness, how one country's economic policies spill over into another's. As you can imagine, we talked a lot about certain regions, we talked a lot about certain countries, uh, the Euro area, the United States of America, the right balance uh, between emerging market economies and uh, other advanced economies and all of that with the perspective of that medium term uh, anchoring that is so needed uh, both for fiscal policies and for the purpose of uh, uh, stimulating uh, that growth and this job creation that is so much needed. Second, in the area of governance, to implement reforms to ensure that the fund reflects more accurately the changing dynamic within our membership. In fact, Christine Lagarde emphasized the point the need to approve the 2010 governance and voice reforms without delay. Third, final result of these meetings, simple but key, cooperation. 188 countries came together and acted together. These last few days show that the spirit of multilateralism is alive and well. Washington moment? Yes. You know, the, the spirit, the, uh, uh, the momentum, the dynamic uh, that was created in the course of this meeting. I personally feel that that Washington moment was, was clearly in the room. We will be working hard with our Japanese partners to reinforce this spirit over the coming months as we prepare for the 2012 annual meetings in Tokyo. Hope to see you there.